E equals MC squared. This, this equation is famous enough to be emblazoned across people's t-shirts. Uh, but it's not actually the original equation that Einstein wrote, and nor is it actually the equation that physicists use. Um, so the first time this equation ever appeared, it was in 1905. It was in a paper that Einstein wrote, which was called uh, Does the Inertia of a Body Depend on Its Energy Content? Um, and he didn't write E equals MC squared. He wrote it the other way around. He wrote mass is equal to energy divided by the speed of light squared, which is technically the same equation, but it just, just sort of feels a bit ugly. You know, it's a bit like saying the red big house. And so over time, the physicists were like, oh, you know what, mass isn't that interesting. We want the big numbers, the flashy stuff, the kind of explosive stuff up front and centre. So they started rewriting it as E equals MC squared. Um, plus that way, it sort of just looks, just looks a lot nicer. Physicists apparently care a lot more about aesthetics than their ponytails let on. Who knew? But even in that form, that is not the equation that most physicists actually use. Because when you're really doing physics, you can't be bothered with kind of kilograms and seconds and, and metres. Instead, you convert to something called natural units that um, lets you measure space and time in the same units. Best not to ask too many questions. And that lets you take the speed of light equal to one. So the equation that physicists actually use isn't E equals mc squared. It's E equals m. And you can tell them that next time you see one wearing it on a t-shirt.